I think Keanu Reeves was saying like, he's just like at a point in his life where like, yeah, you know what, if you're right, if, if, if you want to say that two plus two equals five, then great, then make it happen. Like if that's what you need, more power to you. And, and that's great. Or if like 12 plus seven equals fish, like perfect. You know, if that makes sense to you, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. That's fine. Like, just let it, let it be. Yeah. And so, and at some point that's, that's great. That's to me, that's, that's not a sign of weakness. That's actually a sign of strength. That's a sign of recognizing collaboration and in unity and connection and prioritizing love over an, an ego driven response. Yes. And that's likely why we have discussions and disagreements and not fights. Mm -hmm. That's my perspective of it too. Not that we've ever had this discussion before, (laughs) but fight to me does represent that one person comes out ahead of the other in some way. Mm -hmm. And in a fight, truly from my perspective, no one comes out ahead Mm -hmm. because rarely do they have that discussion where both parties walk away with new information. And in the Keanu Reeves comment, you know, it's so perfect because if you told me two plus two equals fish, if I'm coming at it from, I may not agree with you on that based on what I know to be true, but now I'm curious. I am so curious. I want to understand how in your experience does two plus two equal fish? And through that, I might learn something new. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. I mean, that's a lot of miscommunications are, are a lack of curiosity. And you brought that up beautifully in the last podcast about open and, and honest communication, right? Um, is, is a great way is, is curiosity. Well, curiosity stems from love and creativity, which stems from heart. And so when you can really view from that perspective, it kind of drops this need, this is perceived, this perceived need to win, which to me roots in a perceived view of separation, this illusion of separation. If you was a true understanding and a deep connection into unity and in oneness and in collective growth, then the idea of some one person winning over another, it just doesn't even make sense. Either all you win together or you lose together. And as you just beautifully pointed out, I mean, the reality, the long-term reality, especially of fights is that everyone, everyone's losing, especially when it's like a communication in, in a relationship. That's why it ends up in divorce. I mean, that's not fun. A lot of, a lot of families get in complete devastation sadly, because of this very concept. Mm -hmm. And so, and then it's difficult. A lot of cycles are then repeated. Um, You know, we watched a ton of different shows talking about how, you know, their parents or their family members, you know, really what they saw around them, it just, and then they took it on. And then, you know, they wanted their whole life to not be the one person. And they realized that that's who they're being to their kids or their family members and all that. And it's just, you know, at some point we have to be willing to just let go and say, I, I don't need the win. It's not about me. It's not about the idea, whatever idea. It's about love. That's the most important thing here. And ultimately, love always wins. <laughs> All right? Yes. So when we're yeah. focused on love. love is the answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think they can see the whole oh, painting. Yes. <laughs> but we do have this painting that we just got that reminds us consistently. One, it has Captain America on it, which... Mm. Awesome. Love Captain America. Um, the other is love is the answer. And in truth, when we focus on the love of the connection, it's not about us winning. Mm-hmm. It's about love winning. Mm-hmm. That's how I view it anyway. Because ultimately, when we look at that connection that binds us, love is the common thread through it. And if love wins, then we win. At least I feel like I win. Mm-hmm. And I've rarely met someone who has said, no, if love wins, then we all suck. <laughs> so it would be awesome to have that as the heart of your connection and relationship. Mm-hmm.